Our next activity is going to be about how to use a grid to transfer a drawing so that you are drawing the same image and you're keeping it in proportion so that things are in the right place and they're the right size. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is label this. Um, I'm gonna do letters across the top. So I'm gonna go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Same thing over here. We wanna label them the same. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Down the side, I'm gonna use numbers. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Same thing over here, because we want them to be the same. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So basically what you're doing is you're using your letters and numbers in reference to figure out what part of the drawing you're drawing, and then you're going to transfer it into the same location on your other grid. So when we look at the top of this finger here, it's in C2, so we're gonna go over here to C2, it's this square right here, and what you wanna do is just copy it and some people can do this really well, where they can see that, you know, it's kind of close to the top, but it's not the very top. It comes rounds down to the bottom, and, you know, it's just slightly on the left side of the halfway mark of the bottom right here. It's just a little bit more to the left. Other people have a hard time doing this, so what I want you to do is grab out, out of your bag, these four little pieces of paper. You're gonna need them for this project and the one right afterwards. Um, you're gonna need a little bit of tape. So what I want you to do is pick really any square. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna start over here because I can see them very clearly. I'm gonna line this up along really any of the lines. And then I'm gonna pick a square, maybe this one right here, and I'm gonna lay the next piece of paper right along the top of it, and I'm gonna tape that down. Okay, so I've got those two taped together. Now I'm gonna do the bottom of that square. Try to line it up as best as you can. Use a couple of pieces of tape to tape that in line so it won't move on you. And then finally take the fourth piece and lay it along this edge so that you have a little square left right in the middle of all four pieces. And this is gonna be, well, it's what you call your viewfinder. It helps block everything out except for what you're trying to view. So this is actually used on this side where you already have the drawing. So let's say we're gonna go to D2, right here, D2, and draw this um, so that you don't get confused because this is a lot of information. What your viewfinder does is it blocks everything out. So when I'm looking at it, I know again, here's D2 here. I'm gonna copy what I see right here. What I like to do is take my viewfinder and make a little bit, a little mark right in the middle of each of the edges of my square. That also helps me place things because when I look at this, it is just slightly to the left of the halfway mark. So when I come over here, I'm gonna make that line a little bit over on the left and not quite right down the middle. And this kind of rounds out. The trick with something like this is to make sure when you go from one square to the next that you see how that line curves. It is the same line. You have to make sure it is like a continual line so that when you come over here, you don't start up here and they're disconnected. You wanna make sure that it's a continual line like it is right here. So use the viewfinder and 
do the best you can to copy what you see in each square in its corresponding square in the grid right next to you. Okay, now I can see this one needs to continue, crosses over, and comes down. So I'm going to speed this up so that you can watch me do the whole thing. And there you go, voila.